Hey, it's Dr. Patrick Mahaney. Cardiff and I are here again with you on Teddy Hilton to talk about some of our top pet care tips. One issue that comes up certainly in many women's lives is what am I going to do with my pet when I'm having a baby? Do I get rid of my pet? Do I keep my pet? I say absolutely keep the pet and even better incorporate the pet into your pregnancy. Rely on your pet as a source of comfort when you're not feeling so good on those days when you're having morning sickness. Um, as your belly starts to get bigger and you can feel the baby moving, even bring your pet, your cat, your dog, your ferret, your hamster, whatever, and have them sit right on your lap so they can feel the movements of the baby. That can actually help to acclimate the pet to the idea that, okay, there's going to be this new being brought into their lives. So often when women are pregnant, they end up spending more time focusing on themselves and their baby, and so their husbands or boyfriends or girlfriends and their pets get neglected. So make sure you spend enough time with your pet exercising them, socializing with them, bringing them places. Don't neglect your pet during your pregnancy. And when it's time to bring that baby home, it's probably best that you first bring home a blanket or some piece of fabric that's been impregnated, pun intended, with your, with your baby's scent so that your dog can get used to the baby before he or she even sets foot or gets put into his or her little bassinet. So bring that fabric home, let your dog get used to it, let them sniff it, maybe they'll even want to sleep with it. And when you do bring baby home, it's really important that until your child is old enough to know how to behave around your pet, that you closely observe their observations. Never ever leave them alone together in a room. Certainly that could be a recipe for disaster. There's lots of times when dogs are, are great paternal maternal influences on a baby, but at the same time we have to be cautious in making sure that we don't leave them alone. Another really important tip is when we are changing our baby's diapers, dispose of the diaper in a place where your pet can't get access to it. Um, working emergency medicine, I've certainly seen plenty of dogs eat diapers before and it can make them sick with vomiting or diarrhea. So dispose of that diaper away from a place where your dog can eat it. I certainly don't want Cardiff eating any baby poop. Thanks for, for joining us today on Teddy Hilton. Cardiff and I are gonna sign off. Feel free to tweet me your pet questions at Patrick Mahaney and we look forward to seeing you again.